So children, what is a keyboard? Can you first look here at certain objects and tell me which of them have keys on them? Have you seen a remote of your television? It has very very small keys on it like this. Yes, so every time your remote has small buttons which you press and get the work done. Yeah, perfect. And same thing happens with a calculator. So calculator, just look at the spelling, calculator. Calculator also has these small, small, small buttons which you press and then you get your result here on the screen. Okay, so that means yes, calculator also has keys on it which you press and get the work done. Then comes toaster. Do you think toaster has some buttons? I could see the buttons but these are only on and off buttons, not so many keys on it, right? And the sharpener also doesn't have, it. rather it's a mechanical thing, it works with your efforts. Correct. And we move to the next screen and children, we will tell you that keyboard is made up of very small units which is called keys. So when you look at the keyboard, you can see very small, small buttons on it like this. These, these are individual keys on it. Okay. And we are going to learn about these keys in the upcoming slides. So yes, perfectly said, this is the keyboard of your computer, which we are going to elaborate and understand now in this session. So let's begin. And let's explore more about the keyboard today. So let's read out. Generally, a keyboard is a black color platform. This is an instrument with rectangular shape. Okay. So this is attached to your computer. It is black in color normally. And there are certain keys made on it. And it is the shape. This Can you see this shape? This is rectangular shape. Got it? Now, it usually has 104 keys. So, always remember if someone asks you how many keys are there on the keyboard. See, such a small keyboard with 104 keys on it. Right? And this keyboard is called input device. That means we use keyboard to give some data, some instructions, some order, some command to the computer. That's why we call this as input device. Got it? Now, another thing is keyboard is used for typing. So, what all you type on computer? What are you saying? Numbers. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Yay. He's saying numbers, but not only numbers. We can type alphabets, words, sentences. So many things could be typed on the computer using these small, small keys. Okay? And we use keyboard to play games also. So certain games are made like this where we use keys to press like enter key, arrow key and we are going to elaborate and understand these keys right now. So, now here comes different types of keys which are available on the keyboard. Let's take them one after another. So, there are four types of keys children which are available on the keyboard. Okay? So, number one, First type of keys are called alphabetical keys. Do you know alphabets? Yes, A, B, C, D. These are the alphabets. So, the, on the keyboard, in the center, we have all the alphabets. And these keys are called alphabet keys. Now, do you know how many alphabets are there in all? 26. Right? 
So all 26 alphabets are there on the keyboard and these keys are from A to Z and we call them alphabet keys. I'll show you here on the keyboard. So this part, could you see these alphabets? These are called alphabet keys. Okay, we have Q, W, E, R. So, so many, all the alphabets are here and these are 26 keys. Okay, there are 26 alphabets on the keyboard. Okay, now when we press any alphabet key, the letter appears on the screen, on the monitor. Okay, so that means when you are pressing any alphabet, like this is A and you press A, so you are pressing it on the keyboard, but it goes and displays on the screen, right? So, you can try writing your name now using this alphabet today. Okay, we are going to give you time and just try it. Now, we come to second category of keys which are called number keys. So, some keys have numbers on them and we call them number keys. You know numbers? How many numbers are there? There are 10 numbers starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So in all that makes 10 numbers and there are two set of number keys on the keyboard. One is above the alphabet key and the second is on the right side of the keyboard. Okay, I'll just show you. Here, just above the alphabet key, look here. So, these were your alphabet keys, right? And above these alphabet keys, these are 10 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0. And another number pad is here for you. This one. Okay. So, this is your second number pad. This one. Okay. Including 0. So, we say that we have two set of number keys on the keyboard. That's why it's over, it's written here that it is above the alphabet keys and the second is on the right side of the keyboard. Any doubt? Good. And third type of keys are function keys. So these function keys are the keys which are present on the keyboard and they are marked from F1 to F12. And these keys are used to perform various functions. So I'm going to show you the special function keys, which I just told you they are at the top of your keyboard. This one. So here it starts right away from F1, F2, F3, F4 and goes up to F12. Right? Any query? Come, we go further and we are going to talk about certain special keys which are available on the keyboard. So, there are many other keys that perform different special functions on the keyboard. We are going to elaborate them now, right? So, first category is punctuation keys. Punctuation means like sometimes you have to put comma, question mark, full stop. So, all semicolon is there. So, there are so many punctuations when you write your English sentence. And these keys plays the role whenever you want to put them. It can be question mark, slash at the rate, so many keys are there, okay. 
and then another special key is very important role of this enter key I am going to tell you how it works. So it is used to start new line while typing. So just here there are two enter keys on the keyboard and when you have to change any line you simply press enter key and the line starts with a new line. And there are two enter keys on the keyboard. This is one and this is another. So this one you will find near the number pad and this one you will find near the alphabets. Okay. And further we have a space key. This one the longest key on the keyboard is called space key. And it is used to give the space between two words, letters or even numbers when you are typing on the keyboard and you after writing a word or some numbers you want to give space, just keep pressing the space bar and the space is created. So we move further and we come across another key that's called backspace key. And this backspace key is used for erasing. What's the meaning of erasing? It means removing. So for erasing the letters or numbers to the left of the cursor. So when you want to delete, remove any letter, uh, just left of the cursor, you have to press this backspace key. So there is a key where this indication is there. That means you are moving towards the backward direction. That's called backspace key. Come, we have another key that's delete key. So this delete key looks like this small button on which delete word is written. Delete. Okay. And this is used for erasing anything that is letters, numbers, special characters, anything on the right side of the cursor. So keep it in mind when you want to delete something from the left side you are going to press backspace key and we want to delete something from the right side of your keyboard of the cursor then you are going to press this delete button. Okay and then we have arrow keys on the keyboard. There are four directions and in the same way, there are four arrow keys on the keyboard which have four different arrows pointing to four directions. Okay. So, we say there are four arrow keys on the keyboard and they are used to move the cursor. For the movement of cursor up, down, left or right, we always press the desired key from the keyboard okay and very interesting these keys are very important for you when you play your video games okay now we have another key that's called caps lock key so children here is a caps lock button this has a word caps lock written on it and it helps you to turn on your capital letters when you are typing the alphabets. So it's a toggling button. What do you mean by toggling? One time you press this button, caps lock gets on. Another time you press the button, the caps lock gets off. Okay. So this helps you to write the alphabet in capital letters when it is on. And when it is off, the alphabets are printed in the small letter that is lower case letter. Okay. So it changes back to small letters when you turn it off. That means when you press again, it just come to the small letters, the lower case letters. Okay. And now we move further with the exercise for you. And let's start with the fill in the blanks with certain hints in the hint box for you. So we start with the first the longest key on the keyboard. Just think over it. We have just discussed which is the longest key of the keyboard. 
गुड आंसर दैट स्पेस बार की ओके सो लीड जस्ट रीड द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस यू विल यूज डैश कीज टू टाइप नंबर एटी फाइव सो वेन यू हैव टू टाइप अ नंबर विच कीज आर यूज थिंक ओवर इट करेक्ट दैट इज नंबर कीज एंड देर आर डैश एरो कीज ऑन द की बोर्ड yes rightly said there are four arrow keys the next one is the dash key is used to start a line oh, oh wait wait let me complete the sentence you are right it is enter key great now you have to write true for the true sentence and false for the false statement so let's quickly read them one after another there are 26 number keys is it correct no okay then how many number keys are there good said it is 10 only here we write false 26 is the number of alphabet keys very intelligent child the next sentence is backspace key deletes anything which is on the right side of the cursor no children every time we use backspace key to delete something which is on the left of the cursor and delete command is used to delete something on the right so it is again false there are no punctuation keys on the keyboard have you seen certain punctuation keys on the keyboard comma semicolon question mark yes so this is again false because your keyboard always have punctuation keys as well and the last one is we use arrow keys to move the cursor up down left and right this is a true statement now let's match we have two columns column a and column b we are going to match them so what's the role of enter key enter key is used to start a new line and the space bar just look which of them matches with the space bar yes it is the longest key good going and number keys are from 0 to 9 very nice and alphabet keys what are alphabet keys used for we use alphabet keys to type letters or words now we move further and we have to say goodbye before saying goodbye as usual we are going to revise what you have learned so far so first thing we learned is that number keys are used to type the numbers numbers from 0 to 9 there are 10 numbers then second thing alphabet keys are used to type letters words sentences children do you remember how many alphabet keys we have studied there are 26 alphabet keys and there are 10 number keys okay enter key is used to start a new line whenever you want to begin with a new line and you want to give a break to the old line we simply press enter key delete key is used for erasing the text to the right of the cursor and when you use backspace key backspace key is used for erasing the text to the left of the cursor now next is we have four arrow keys remember four arrow keys they are up down left and right so every time four arrow keys taking you to the four directions then caps lock key 
is another very important key to turn on your capital letters and turn off your capital letters. It's a toggling key. Uppercase will come when you turn it on and lowercase will come when you turn it off. So, we end the session. See you next time. Happy learning. Bye-bye.